Greetings and welcome to an ACB Radio tutorial video on how to import objects from the internet to use in the GEC. My name is Samuali Winmere Solo, your tutor for this tutorial video. In this video, we'll be downloading ready-made objects from the internet and implementing them into Fallout New Vegas. How exciting, so let's begin. The programs that will be used are the following. Blender 2.49b, Nifscope and the GEC. To begin, we'll need to find an object that will be available in the 3D Studio format. We shall be converting the specific object from .3ds to .nif. Be sure to check out the object's information, such as how many polygons and vertices it's acquired during the object's creation. Ok, so once you've downloaded the intended 3D Studio file, next we'll need to import it into Blender. This can be done like so. Be sure the object's got a texture set and change these material settings like so. Then, over under Texture, hit the Add New button. Go over to Map Import and change from ORC to UV. Go over to Texture Buttons and change the texture type to Image. Under Image, hit Load and select an image. This will be its texture. For this demonstration, we'll just be using any old image. After all that, hit the center mouse wheel button over your object and go into edit mode by using the tab hotkey. Press the U button and select unwrap. This will automatically generate a UV map of your object. And that's almost it. Go ahead and export the object to .NIF. The object that's just been exported to .NIF will not include the collision, thus allowing the player to simply walk through it. To fix this problem, you'll need to import your object once again into Blender along with a vanilla object. Select your object and then hold Shift and right click on the vanilla object. Hold Ctrl and hit J and then select Join Selected Meshes. The last object that's been selected will be the main overall object letting our new object acquire all of its settings and whatnot. Enter edit mode once again by hitting the tab hotkey and simply select put a single vertex on the vanilla object. Use draw select to select the vanilla object. You can do this by holding down control then holding the left mouse click to begin drawing. Once we have the vanilla object selected, hit the delete button and erase the vertices. While in edit mode, we can select our object to make it central to the scene. And so we're left with just our object in the vanilla object's collision. Edit the collision box to fit around your object. To do this, you'll need to select it and align it like so. Edit mode works very well for this particular task. Use draw select and select the many vertices and rearrange them around your object. An important tip would be to select the entire collision and then hold shift and press D to duplicate another collision. Once you're finished, your collision should resemble this rough example shown here. Export it as .nif and for this example we'll just be adding the solid texture to speed things up. Open your new exported NIF and apply its textures through NIFScope. And that's it, but wait! Let's go ahead and add it into the game by using the GEC. Create a new form and ID and be sure to have your new object NIF file located somewhere within the new Vegas' data mesh folder. And then import it into the GEC like so. There's our new object! Amazing! Happy modding! Did you know you can also use Wavefront files as well? Simply import the OBJ file, then export it as .3ds, then import the .3ds and export it as .nif. 
Thank you so much for watching HCB Radio's tutorial video on how to import objects from the internet to use in the GEC. For any and all business inquiries, please feel free to email me at lordsamuelewindmeersolo at gmail.com. And last but not least, please indulge yourselves with these many websites related to ACB Radio. You may find links in the description below. Thanks a million shillings. Bye bye.